people that we took a picture of, which we'll show you next, but we couldn't take our video cameras in there. It was one of the most interesting things on the whole trip that really sparked a lot of interest in me and when we're talking with the uh, on the film you see me talking with the tour guide and it's concerning this pipe. This pipe is a pipe that's put in here into the floor of the Valley Temple and this is where we asked them why they had this pipe and they said it's, it's attached to water 35 meters beneath the ground. Evidently they're pumping that water out from underneath the Giza Plateau to prevent the flooding of the, uh, the monuments up on the plateau. Now allow us to go inside and take a picture, but inside there is a, uh, a pipe that goes down 35 meters and there's water underneath here, just like I thought. Underneath the plateau, there's water, it's always been. For ages, all right, there's a, a aquifer, 500 mile aquifer that runs from the southwest of Egypt towards the northeast, okay? They use the pyramids to pump the water up and to, and to purify the water. They overutilize the water, they lowered the water table. That's why this area all to the west became desert, okay? Now what happened with the Aswan Dam, the Aswan Dam was built and it's backing up the water the way of an Aswan. It's recharging the underground aquifer. It's called recharging, all right? That's why this water is building up again. But that the, that the water was originally here thousands of years ago, okay? The, the, the geologists have done research on this. And so this area here was a place where they pumped the water out. That's why they made it sacred ground. They made it sacred ground so nobody else could come up here. They ran the water down to the Valley Temple. They had boats to pick the water up and carry the water up and down the mouths of the other cities, right? This was 6,000 years ago. But 4,000 years ago, the water ran out. They overutilized it, okay? And they stopped doing it. They stopped doing it. That's why it's called the, the dead. Because now they couldn't get the water. This whole area became for the dead. So originally, this was the pumping water. The same problem that y'all have now, drinking, drinking water, the worm, okay? That's the problem they had 1,000 years ago. That's why you have the devil, Apex, is a worm. It's the same worm that's in your water. They figure out a way to chemically destroy it. They pump this water up inside inside the, 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 uh, the Great Pyramid, the niche in the Queen's Chamber where they store turquoise. Turquoise is a sacred stone, that's a lunar hydrate, cooper sulfate. That's what they use to purify water today. All right? It was just a huge storage tank for water and for water purification. And they ran it out and ran it down to the causeway, down to the Nile when, it, when, it, when the boats picked it up. This is about this is not this is not this is not this was no in the book of the in the uh in the Capra dug it out he was sand around it and he dug from around it oh no oh yeah this was here this was here before the pyramids this was here before this was here before the pyramids this was before the pyramids yes think before you know what a lion represents you know why they have a lion all the place a lion represents where the water comes out um that uh, lions hang around the water hole, right? Real lions hang around the water hole to get their prey, okay? So the symbol of a lion represents two things. The lions represent when the water comes out. He's guarding the water. Now, it's a she, it's not a he. The top of a she, female, Isis. Isis, the bottom is Leo, the lion, right? What, that's, what that represented, all these stones are carved out, these are not used to build the pyramids. You know they used stones? You know where they got the stones for the build pyramids? From underneath the ground. It took, ten, it took 10 years before they built the above ground structure. It took 10 years underground. All the stones from underground is what they used to put it on top. Except for the casing stones they got from across, across the water, Tura, and the, uh, the granite, which they got from up Aswan. The rest of the stone, you know what? You know who else built pyramids? <laughs> ants. Ants build pyramids all the time. Right? Ants. Little ants, right? You know what they do? They dig like, if their homes underneath the ground, they store it up on top. Same thing here. We're digging for water. They dug from underneath the, the rock, down to the water table, and they build the pyramids up on top to get rid of the stone. Okay? No, you changed everything by that. I know I changed everything. I, I, change I, I, I got a book on it. I, I got a book on it. That's why I'm here to document what we're doing. What's the name of it? It's called uh, Amen. Amen. Amen? 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 Is, yes. It's Indonesian? Uh, yes, but well, we, we brought it with us. We, we have some out in the, in, in the truck, a few of them, okay? But it's not sold here in Egypt yet. We just came out in 1980. Completely new theory. Completely new theory. Correct. 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 Here's some of the pictures here. These are reproductions of uh, some of the wall paintings. And they're going to describe how they make them. Okay. Okay. 
Arab is called Gizira. Gizira. And Gizira is Arabic name, uh, Arabic word of island too. One of the highlights of the Zira Island is Cairo Tower on your right hand side and this red building over there which is Marriott Hotel. Uh, Marriott, uh, it was also, the Marriott yet was also a palace for, for also Empress Eugenie, the wife of Napoleon III. So when Eugenie came here, our ruler built for her two palaces, the Marriott here in downtown and Mina House near the pyramid. This round building with a tower on your left hand side, it is the TV building. And the other one over there in front of you is Ramses Hilton. Now, another branch of the now, larger branch. And the other one, the white and, uh, and blue one to the, right, uh, to the right is the Nile Hilton, the first international hotel built in Egypt, 1959. And now we are crossing the second branch of the Nile. So we'll be at Cairo. So you can see that Cairo and Giza are so close to each other, they are different cities, Cairo and Giza. But because they are so close to each other, Cairo, on the one choose your camera, leave it here in the bus because they are, because they are going to, ch to check your purse on your way in. And also about the hand tanks. Yeah, we're getting ready to go to the Cairo Museum and they charge you 25 Egyptian pounds to take your video camera in. They charge you 10 Egyptian pounds to carry your right in front of the entrance to the, um, the museum of Cairo. Um, you see over here to the right is the Sphinx and to the left of the Sphinx you notice that the nose is not off. This is about a kid right up there. This is uh, the top of the obelisk. You see the very beautiful effects. And here are some sarcophagi. You can see they are very, very heavy lids to go on top of these. We're wondering, so what did they actually have in here? Since the, the very good the here, they remain standing up. There, uh, here is um, Zozer at the jet. Chesar, who was the, the pharaoh who commissioned Imhotep to build the first pyramid. And you see he has his nose knocked off, but look at the hair, dreadlocks. And they've disfigured his face, but you can still see that this is definitely a black man. The ancient Egyptian, uh, some of the people believe that the ancient Egyptian used to kill the servants after the death of their kings and bury them around their pyramids or around their tombs to serve them in the afterlife. But it's not true, because until now there is no evidence of human sacrifice in ancient Egypt. They said that they use only to make this statue for the servants, doing their activities, doing their work, put it beside the king in his tomb until the servants died normal death, so we start to bury them all around the world. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And for example, here this one, He's waiting for the baking of his bread, making pottery, holding the cross on the sandal of the king, slaughtering an ox, slaughtering a goose, and here she's making the beer. About the beer, the ancient Egyptian made the beer by fermenting the barley bread and water, and they used to add some juice, date juice, which is sweeter. One of the pyramids, another pyramid, the Hawara pyramid, pyramid, yeah, the Hawara. I was reading a book on the plane, right? They say you can't reach the sarcophagus because it's now flooded, right? So it was also down in that aquifer, in the ground water, right? Why would they fuel it down? See, if you're going to preserve a, a, a body, only you have to do is stick it someplace high in the sand, not go down to the water table, okay? So that's why they weren't used to tools, because they, they built them down in the water table. So you would not put something down to preserve it. And if you want to preserve it there, you would not have air shafts. No one no air in there. We got air chefs in the, in, the, in the king's chamber and the queen's chamber, right? While they have air chefs, you're trying to preserve them, preserve the body. You see what I'm saying? It doesn't make any sense. Air chefs, you need air chefs because when water comes up, it's like in a toilet. You have, you, have, you have a pipe on top of your house. That's so that the, the, the water can, the, 
can be displaced from the pipes. Without it, the water will not come up in your toilet. So why does the water come up in your toilet? Because it comes from a higher place than where it's stored, right? In the tank, right? And then that water has pressure, and that water comes up. Now, you pump the water up high, and then because of the gravity, you, it, 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 the force of the water is equal at all places. Okay, my theory also is that when they ran that water from the Great Pyramid, unlike the other one, they didn't run it down to the Valley Temple. The reason I asked you about that road was, I think they ran it underground, the conduits, all the way into the Delta, underground, and had it come up at Heliopolis, and the different temples, and their priests controlled the water. And it comes up there because it starts at a higher level, up on the plateau. And it just works like our water system now. You store the water up higher, then gravity allows it to pump up the pipes in distant places. So that's probably my theory. Okay, let's go. Let you talk. Let you talk some. We show us some stuff, and you tell us some stuff. Okay. For example, this is snuffle right here. No, is no, this snuffle? No. Who? In Kernes. Huh? Kerenes. No? Okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, here we have the statue of King Mikrenes. He's standing between Goddess Hathor to the, uh, to the right. Goddess Hathor, she's the goddess of love, beauty, and beauty, of course, you know. Uh, and on the other side, we have a god, one of the local gods. Because uh, Egypt is one day called by the 42 states, and each of these states has its local god. So he's one of the 42 local gods of the 42 states. So they said it must have been here for two statues of this statue. Right. To represent the king, Hathor, the main goddess, right. and a different yeah. local god. Okay, you see, the, you see the, the, the standard that it sits on? Yeah, you know the symbol of the state. Right, you know what that is? It's uh, for a symbol of us youth. Huh? Yeah. 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 But, it, yeah. but you know what it is physically? That's a wind vane. Wind? Wind vane. That's wind vane, so it tells you which way the wind blows. That's what that is, you know, if you go, if you, do they have these on top of the house here, wind vanes? And, see the wind vanes, yeah, yeah. right? That's where it comes from. And they have the different emblems on those wind vanes. That's where it comes from. That's what we invented uh, thousands of years ago to represent a state, to represent a netter, they use a flag, right? The wind. You can't see God. You can only see his, the results of God, right? Which is the, Which the, is the wind, the air, yeah. right? It's like you can't see the wind. You can see the results of the wind. You can't see God. You can only see the results of God. So that's why they developed that symbol. That's a wind vane. There we have the magical formula uh, because uh, they used to put the inscription around the walls so when the spirit or the mind of the person come back and read the magical formula, the print things come to life. Right. Now, you want to tell you why they did that? Huh? Yeah, because the, the car... The, the car, car, right, the car. The car of the double. Do you yeah. know who the car is? The car is not anything, it's not spooky. The car is, is double. Double, yeah. That means that in within you, you have your, your, your mother's in you and your father's in you. Also, your children are already in you, right? They're already in you. You give birth, right? You know, you hear the men call a bull of his mother. You heard that? That's the, the bull of his mother, men. The God men call a bull of his mother. Yeah, All right? God men. Right. How can it be the bull of your mother? Well, they believe this reincarnation back through, the, through their own seed. So when their seed will come back, when their descendants will come back 3,000 years, from now, they would read this and know that that was them. And the man would reincarnate, wake up the spirit of himself and his descendant. It's not one. for him. Not for him physically, but he's still not dead. See, they yeah, didn't believe in death. He's not dead because yeah. as long as he had, you see the aethophalic pharaoh on the beard, holding hold his penis, okay, that's represent, he, as long as he reproduces himself, he's not dead because he lives on through his children. And he can come back 3,000 years from now because of his children. In 3,000 years, we didn't chose that because all the planets line themselves back up every 3,016 years. All the planets line themselves back up. So if they were in a line now, 3,016 years from now, they'd be back in a line, the same line. So that's what the, the, the cycle of, of the man coming back to life. That's what they believe. What's the position of 